Hi, my name is Jeremy Chara, and I've written for Cisco Press a book called CCNA Voice, Second Edition. What Cisco has done is tailored the CCNA Voice just like their CCNA program. So if you've, if you've uh, seen CCNA, uh, you get the, the, I guess you could call them the tip of the iceberg of all the mountains of technology, right? So, so when you're studying for the normal routing and switching CCNA, you learn about routing. And you learn a lot about routing. You learn about subnetting. You learn about the RIP routing protocol, a lot of cool stuff. But then the instructor says, well, but, but wait, there's more. That's going to be in CCNP. Thus, we have a whole nother uh, book or a whole nother class focused on routing called Route. And also in CCNA, you get switch, and you get kind of the tip of the iceberg, and then in CCNP, they kind of go down the whole mountain and tell you everything about switching. So that's exactly what they did with this book. Uh, instead of going into full depth on every single one of those products I just mentioned, this book covers the tip of the iceberg. I mean, if I were to draw four mountains, if I had a, a whiteboard I could draw, and there'd be four mountains, and I would just draw a line across the top and say, that's what we talk about in CCNA Voice. So the fun part is, uh, this book uh, is going to be about all of the neat stuff, the stuff to get it running, the, the cool stuff, and it's going to pique your interest of all the other stuff. You're going to go, oh, I see the book ended right there, but I bet you we could take that so much further. So, so this book is really geared. I, I would say that the audience for this book, it's really – anybody that's interested in anything voice over IP. Think of this as wetting your taste buds, right? So you're going to have, you know, just, just a sip of the slushy and you're going to go, that's pretty good. I like it. I totally can do this. And by the time it's said and done, uh, when, you're, when you're done with this book, you're going to be able to be pretty good at a lot of technologies from, you know, setting up uh, a voice over IP system on a, a router with Call Manager Express into a full-blown, uh, you know, Call manager cluster. I mean, there, there's a lot of technology that you get with this with this book by the time it's said and done. So I'm I'm really excited about this re-release of the book. What makes this book unique is its ability uh, to convey a lot of the difficult concepts in a really easy to understand way. Pearson uh, said, yeah, yeah, you can write pretty much however you want to. And I said, really? I started writing and I, and I got out my, my Microsoft Word document and I started saying, okay, so you've got a router and you want to set it up for call manager. You want to make sure some IP phones are running, right? And I'm using contractions. I'm using probably some bad grammar and that's, that's okay because they make it pretty and they make it sound human. So when you read the book, you're like, wow, it's human and I can understand it and it's actually interesting and I follow what you're saying and, and that's what makes this book unique is the fact that you can actually gain interest in this book and go, oh, okay, I get it and I'm so excited about this, I actually wanna go set this up. I didn't just write it to prepare you for an exam. Now, granted, I, I know many of you are interested in certification, so am I. It's, it's a big part of our careers. Uh, but the certification exam goes a little light on some of the, what I would consider, core concepts. So again, I asked my publisher, can I go beyond? Can I, can I go a little bit beyond and let people know that I went beyond and so they know what to study and so on? And he goes, yeah, sure, totally, go for it. So I did. So in this book, as, as I'm writing, I, I get to certain parts where, you know, the exam objective ended there. Yeah, you know how to plug in a phone and, and watch it boot. But I'm going to say, well, let's go to the next step. Let's go a little further because there's some really neat stuff that's not only really cool to see operational, but you would want it for a company. You wouldn't want to wait until you get to CCNP voice to, to learn all these things. So, so the book goes to the exam and then it goes a few steps further um, into what I would say are pretty critical concepts. But, um, but they're also very exciting. So the last thing that I would say is really important, really exciting about this book is it's not shelf material. Um, there are some books that I would say I've gotten. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm looking at a whole pile of them on the shelf right now. Uh, and I call them shelf material, meaning I, I get them, I look through them, I'm like, okay, pretty good. Um, it's going on the shelf. And someday maybe I'll, I'll read it, but I read about 10 pages of it. It's very sad. I spent a lot of money on that shelf, but, but that's about all I've done. Because when I'm in a real world situation, I'm like, oh, I need to, I need to set up some phones. You know what I do? 
what we all do. I go to Google and I say, how do I set up a phone? And I look for somebody who's got the quickest, most concise configuration guide for me. And I go, okay, that's what I need. So, so I thought when I wrote this book, I don't want this book to become shelf material. I want this book to, to get tattered, to sit on your desk or your, I guess it wouldn't get tattered if you've got an iPad or an Amazon Kindle or whatever widget you have. But if it's a real book, uh, I want it to get bent and highlighted and, and circled. And, and the next time you're at a deployment, you're going to go, oh, I need to set up a phone. And you go to Google and you go, oh, actually, I, page 50, I, I put a little flag in there. Let me flip to, there it is. There's exactly the commands I need. There, That's the configuration I need to set this up. Um, so, so you're getting a book that's not just uh, good shelf material, uh, good paperweight, uh, but you're actually getting a, a book that will be very useful to you, I believe, in a lot of your real-world configurations.